I'll convert you to a Senegal enthusiast by the time you're done reading this. I swear to you. Senegal is glad to be your second team at this World Cup even though it isn't your first. It won't be an issue for us to adopt you. Senegal, why? The Africa Cup of Nations will be discussed first. The preferred competition for all European managers. Well, it's a funny story. Although I have never expressed it before, this is the reality. There was so much suspense in the stadium in Cameroon at the conclusion of extra time in that final versus Egypt that it brought back memories of when I was 11 years old. It was not 2022 for me as soon as the whistle blew and I realized we would be heading to penalties. It was 2002. Football players are frequently in the moment. There is no time for anxiety. Senegal has a fantastic opportunity to take home its first significant trophy, though. We were aware that the entire nation was watching us because they had witnessed so much tragedy in the past. Recall how the 2018 World Cup fair play tiebreaker ended with us losing? The next year, we lost the AFCON final. Senegal appears to have been unloved by history. Getty. We were staring at their goalkeeper and saying, man, we have to beat them in 90 minutes even before the 2022 final, when we had already won our match and were all at the hotel watching Egypt win their semi-final on penalties. This guy is a lifesaver. Ha 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 ha. That much is true. We were all shouting, whatever it takes, we can't go to penalties, but I would never say that to the press. We might change the course of history. The pen was in our hands. Calado Kulabali. Naturally, we then applied fines. And I couldn't help but experience the same flashback that millions of Senegalese watching on TV were experiencing as we made our way over to the touchline to speak with the manager about who would take them. I was reliving Turkey's game-winning goal from the quarterfinals of the 2002 World Cup in the back of my head. The 2002 AFCON final penalties versus Cameroon were being replayed at the time. Hey, even the big boss missed a penalty against Cameroon in 2002 as I'm looking over at our manager Elio Cisse, who was playing that day. We might actually be cursed. Elio eventually gathered us together in a circle, and he gave a moving speech that really altered the atmosphere. Elio is Senegal, therefore there isn't much I can say about him that will be accurate. We all watched like boys as he sacrificed his life for the clothing. When others would only venture to place their boot there, he used to put his head there. He warned us not to be terrified in that trying situation, prior to the punishments. For the sake of our nation and the players who had given their all, from the 2002 squad all the way to us, he urged us to go out and win it. The Players' Tribune slash Sam Robles. We might change the course of history. The pen was in our hands. Following that speech, all of our worries vanished. I let him know I'd like to go first. I always want to assume the responsibility is captain. Yet, what was amazing was that Aliu turned to face everyone and stated, okay, Kohli goes first. But I am under the most pressure, not you. I made the decision. I'll take the fall for it. Just go ahead and win it, you guys. So I made my way there. I approached the ball. It was more than simply a fine. Not just a final, either. 20 years of history were contained in one single kick. There are actually two World Cups going on at once in France's immigrant areas. The World Cup on television and the one you play with your buddies in the streets are two different things. The national teams of Turkey, Tunisia, and Algeria are shown on television alongside the Senegal team. The local Senegalese squad, neighborhood Tunisian team, and so forth are further options. The neighborhood is a lovely blend of nationalities, languages, and friendliness over a typical summer. The PlayStation becomes the neighborhood PlayStation if you are the one guy with the good fortune to own one. You wouldn't go to the park and merely kiss your friend's mother if all the mothers were lounging in the grass eating ice cream. Down the line you go. You give a mother a kiss. Everyone is unique, so everyone is the same, do you get what I'm saying? But only during the World Cup every four years? Not at all. You are now a representative of your flag. You now enter the street and represent your ancestor's nation as though you had actually been selected for the first team. You head outside in the morning to play the game before the game. And what if Senegal actually does face Turkey in the quarterfinals, like it did in the summer of 2002? 
You now play the game before the game as though it will determine how your life turns out. It is Turkey versus Senegal, even if you are playing five aside in the back of your school. It actually determines destiny. Before the quarterfinal, my friends and I played this game, and I still recall how heartbreaking it was to lose to the Turkish boys. We were crying while holding back our arguments against one another for making mistakes, and then we fell to the ground. In our reality, the entire country of Senegal had been let down by a group of 11-year-olds in St. Didavaj. People occasionally inquire about my decision to play for Senegal rather than France. Kalado Kulabali. You could think I'm overstating things, but I'm not. The World Cup is distinctive in its own right. My friend recently reminded me of how desperate we were for Senegal to get to the semi-final that we even attempted to use some magic beforehand. We received a large Senegal flag from someone, placed it on the prayer table, and knelt before God, pleading with him to aid the Lions of Taranat in their victory over Turkey. I'm positive that day, God heard a lot of petitions of this nature. Of course, everyone is aware of what took place. We all sobbed when Senegal lost on a golden goal. But I usually point out to people that the beautiful thing about my neighborhood was that we were genuinely happy for our friends once our tears had dried. Gokan was one of my closest pals, and his parents fed me the same way they fed him. I had kebab at his house. He consumed meat de poulet in mine. After Senegal was eliminated, I fully supported Turkey. It is the appeal of both children and the World Cup. Everything turns into a celebration of flags, colors, and songs, but not in a way that divides people. We have nice dreams about our native countries. It had a lovely connection to the past and to family in my neighborhood. It might be the only time you ever see your father or your uncle cry, especially in an African family. People occasionally inquire about my decision to play for Senegal rather than France. Coley, you could have won the world championship if you had chosen France. The Players' Tribune slash Sam Robles. Perhaps, but I think in fate. I frequently claim that I am a product of two cultures, Senegalese and French. I take great pride in being French. Yet, God's plan for me has been to represent Senegal. Since 2002, I felt an internal force pushing me in that direction. Elio called me and said, Coley, we're heading into a new cycle, and we need you, back when he took over the team in 2015. You must accompany us. He gambled on a 24-year-old Napoli player who was still on the bench. He had faith in me. I had to trust in Senegal as a result. The only time in my life that I have ever witnessed my parents becoming giddy over football was when I called them to inform them of my choice. They typically behave as though I am still engaged in a game in the schoolyard. They are too accustomed to dealing with difficulties in real life for a game to disturb them. However, I could see the joy in my father's eyes when I told him I was going to represent Senegal over FaceTime. This dad spent five years working seven days a week as a skilled laborer in a sawmill in order to provide his kids with a better life in France. The boss is really difficult to excite. But on that particular day, his eyes shone. There is more to my representation of my nation than merely a football game. It concerns my ancestry, my past, and my parents' aspirations. I won't ever forget the day I was promoted to captain. This sums up our team's dynamics and shows how close we are. I was initially a little hesitant when Aliu selected me to replace Chiku Kuyate as the armband bearer. I was concerned about Chiku's reaction because he is an excellent person whom I have known since I played in Belgium. Idrissa Ganegay, Sadie Omain, Edouard Mendy, and Chiku were the senior players I collected into a council when we were in the hotel, in my memory. I informed them that I would only wear the armband with their unanimous consent. Some details must remain confidential, but I can share with you that Chiku approached me that evening and told me, I have a lot of respect for you since you approached me as a man. You should have it, please. It might have been tense if it had been anyone other than Chiku. Chiku was the best way to sum up Senegal and our way of thinking. I'm done now. I continue to address him as captain today. This is what being Senegalese means to me. You have reverence for your past and your elders. I don't know how other national teams manage it, but anytime I have to make a difficult choice, I call the Council of Idi, Sadio, Edouard, and Chiku. These past few years, we have experienced everything together, both happy and sad tears. The AFCON final was not a contest because of this, in my opinion. 
Its history spanned 20 years, 